Hello everyone, welcome back to the cooking channel. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make this healthy, super yummy and quick lemon honey dill salmon. Wrapped up in foil, which is a good presentation piece if I must say. So first of all, we're gonna preheat our oven to 375 and we have some pretty basic, simple ingredients to do this. A fish doesn't need too many things to make it stand out. On a cutting board, I'm gonna grab some fresh dill and I'm just gonna pull a few sprigs off of this. Um, all the ones that look good, some can look kind of mucky in the packaging there. And then what I do is I like fold it up until I can't fold it anymore. Um, I feel like I get a finer chop with these tiny little dill pieces. That's just how I like to do it. And then I just cut it with a very sharp knife. And then once I'm done doing that, I kind of just go back and forth and rough chop the whole thing. Fresh dill, in my opinion, is a lot better with this recipe rather than dried dill. But use what you have. Place that in a bowl and I'm gonna grab some olive oil next and put it in there and now I'm gonna take some honey now my honey is running out um, so <laughs> don't judge me now this is where I'm gonna say I don't measure I kind of just judge how much would go over however many pieces of salmon I'm making I might be making one salmon two three ten but I'd say about two tablespoons of each ingredient for the bowl it's all about consistency to me so if it's really really runny I will thicken it with the oil um, or if I need it more watered down then the lemon will do the trick so next we're gonna grab a lemon and I like to roll it on my counter first to get the the juice is flowing. Um, I'm gonna cut off the tip of this lemon and I will use that, but what I'm gonna do first is cut very thin slices of the lemon. It's very key that you cut like paper thin slices and watch your fingers because if you do them too thick, your fish will be raw underneath where you put the lemon on. Once you've cut about one to two paper thin slices of lemon for each salmon, I'm going to squirt the remaining of the big chunk of lemon into this bowl. Um, I really like it lemony, pairs really well with salmon, so, um, and it thins it out well, so I just keep squeezing and squeezing until literally all the lemon juice is out of that lemon. And this is the consistency we are looking for. So basically that is what you're after. So now I'm gonna grab my two pieces of salmon. I got these for about six to $7 each. They are beautiful, but never trust the grocery store or butcher. Always run your fingers down them to see if there are bones. You can feel them right away. You don't wanna swallow one of those. Okay, now we're gonna grab some foil and you're gonna do about triple the size of the piece of salmon that you have. I'm going to spray them with some cooking spray so that um, our fish does not stick. And then I'm going to season the fish with um, some salt and pepper generously. And after that's done, I'm gonna take my mixture and simply pour half of it onto one and the other half onto the other, unless you're making more than two. And it just looks so beautiful. Um, once it's coated, you're just gonna throw the little lemons on top. It's okay if it does, some does like pool on the bottom because we will be wrapping these up in foil. And what I get asked the most is how I wrap these. So basically you're just gonna take it both sides, bring them together and then kind of fold it over and pinch. And then on either side, you're just going to kind of loose leave crimp each edge. You wanna leave a little bit of room at the top so it can kind of steam out, so you're kind of like steaming it. And I'll show you guys again right here. Um, yeah, so I just loosely do this. Um, I don't tightly pack them. I've done that before and the fish have become very dry and undercooked sometimes as well. Throw those in the oven for about 20 minutes. I would start checking it at about 15, just to be sure. Depending on your size of salmon, it might take up to 25. Once they're all done, this is what it looks like. It is absolutely stunning. I always get asked how I do this. These are absolutely delicious, healthy, full of flavor. I love salmon and they are definitely Instagram worthy and they will impress a crowd. So um, I just uh, go for the thickest part of the fish and open it up and see if they are cooked. And in this case, they definitely were. So this is what they look like. They're so yummy. Um, I will remove the lemons um, before eating. Pair it with a vegetable on the side and you have a gorgeous meal there. Full of flavor and healthy. And I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. And I'll talk to you guys all in the next recipe. Bye. 